What's going on everybody? Welcome to the sixth Matplotlib tutorial video. In this video, what we're going to be talking about is pie charts. So pie charts are a lot like the stack plots that we just showed, only instead of showing maybe over time like a, like a stack plot does, this just shows a slice of time. No pun intended. Or was it? Anyway, so what we're going to do now is we'll go ahead and uh, delete basically all of this. That'll be good. And uh, we can leave this, I suppose. Um, let's just do, I'm trying to think of the easiest way to go through this. We'll just say like slices, okay? Slices will equal, and let's just do like a slice here. So we'll do, uh, let's do, let's do this final slice here. So we'll say the slices were 7, 2, 2, and 13. And then the activities, activities would be equal to, uh, we had sleeping, eating, working, and then playing. Okay. Now, that's all we need to make a pie. Uh, so we have, to make a pie, it's simple, plt.py, bam. Then what we have is we've got our slices, and then we've got our uh, labels will equal activities. And then uh, we can also specify colors if we want, um, but we can we can do that. So we'll say colors here, calls, and that will also equal a list. And I forget what we had before, but cyan, magenta, red, and black, I think might've been the right order. Uh, so we'll do that and we'll say uh, colors equals colors. We'll just go with that for now. And let's go ahead and run that. That doesn't work. Colors equals coals is what we said. Try again. All right. So now we've got our uh, pie, pie chart. We don't really need this legend, actually. Uh, it's pretty obvious on here. And we also don't need the Y and X labels. So let's get rid of that stuff for now. Uh, let's just comment that out. Okay. Uh, so we've got the colors. Uh, the other thing I wouldn't mind is you can set, like right now, I believe it's the default, uh, the starting angle. But no, we don't actually have that done. So uh, one thing you can do is you can kind of set like where it starts. So we could say start angle equals 90. So we can start at a 90 degree angle. So you'll see right here, the top is like this 90 degree angle. Okay, so just keep that in mind. And then the rest of this stuff is plotted, uh, basically it's plotted counterclockwise. So you start at that 90 degree angle, it starts plotting sleeping, then it does eating, working, playing, and it goes counterclockwise. So uh, the next thing that we could do is like right now, you'll see that we've kind of got this, um, I don't know, this chart, <laughs> I guess. It's kind of like, oblong a little bit and we can talk a little bit about that later but for now we'll just let that go and so we can close out of this and like one thing that we can do is like when it's all like kind of like shaped like that one thing you could do is like shadow and we can say the shadow equals true so this will add a bit of a shadow to it so it just kind of looks more reasonable with what we're doing there uh, another thing that you can see that charts will sometimes do is they will pull out like a, a piece of the pie so to speak so one thing that you can do there is you can use this term explode and this will explode the elements in the manner that you're kind of suggesting. So we could explode, uh, let's explode eating. So we could explode by zero, 0 0.1, zero, zero. So there you go. It kind of pulls out that like little eating slice a little bit. Uh, to give us some, some more, like, I don't know, it kind of draws your attention to that eating slice, basically. So we can close out of that. Also, the other thing you can do is you can have the percentages on there. So what I'm going to go ahead and do is I'll, I'm going to hit enter here. So each of these little things is on their own line. So we're exploding there. Now what we can do is we can say auto PCT. And what this does is it adds the percentage to the pie. Uh, so we'll say auto PCT equals, and then here is just the code for it percentage 1.1 f percent percent 
don't worry about what it means. It's just going to add a percentage to the pie. So let's go ahead and do that real quick. And our percentages are now on the, each little respective slice. Of course, playing, <laughs> the label is black, so we can't see it. Uh, so maybe we could change that color. Let's change black to uh, blue. And now we'll at least be able to see it. <laughs> anyway, there it is. So there you go. And what's nifty about this is these numbers were in hours, if you recall. It adds up to 24 hours. But the calculation of like the pies slice size is done automatically for you. So that's actually really useful. You don't have to be the one that calculates the percentage or the slice of the pie. It does all that all on its own. So that's pretty cool. Anyway, that's about all I want to show with uh, pie graphs. Just a, a few nifty little things you can do. You can look up some more. There's a few other things you can do with pie charts and stuff, but that's good enough for now. So anyways, if you have any questions or comments, please feel free to leave them below. Otherwise, as always, thanks for watching. Thanks for all the support and subscriptions. And until next time.